Good evening. Welcome to ABC News Queensland. I'm Lexi Hamilton-Smith. Detectives have continued their search at the home of the man accused of killing Logan's schoolgirl, Tiali Palmer. It comes as a Cairns foster father is charged with child pornography offences. The government has promised to fast-track more frontline staff for the sector. For a fourth day in a row, investigators scour the Chambers flat property. Once a home for 12-year-old Tiali Palmer, now a crime scene. Police have been blocking windows and removing furniture in their hunt for clues into the schoolgirl's murder. The only other movement was the arrival of Julene Thorburn, the wife of Tiali's accused killer. She stopped at the front gate trying to get police attention. <coughs> Tiali Palmer lived with the family for 10 months before she was allegedly killed by her foster father, Rick Thorburn. Her foster brother, Trent Thorburn, has been charged with incest and perjury. The case has sparked concerns about the safety of the foster care system. We need an urgent external investigation with people on that um, investigation panel who are not beholden to government, who are not afraid to actually call a spade a spade and who will then report back to the parliament. The government's already announced a review into the foster care and blue card system and today the minister's promised to fast track the appointment of more frontline staff. The additional 47 positions announced in June will all be filled by the end of this year and that is frontline child safety positions. The opposition's anger has been fuelled by further criminal charges, this time in Cairns. A foster father of three has appeared in court over multiple alleged child pornography offences. But when we have foster carers like these two over the last week, the Minister needs to urgently investigate a public system under intense scrutiny. Alison Horne, ABC News.